There's no doubt that when you're organized, you feel less stressed. And this goes for your phone as well. This weekend, I was so excited to download the iOS 14 on my phone and then spend some time updating and learning about the widgets and the shortcuts for the apps and making it just the way I want. So when I open my phone now, I see some nice beauty going on right here. If you're new here, I'm Natalie. I'm the owner of Fired Up Fitness. And on this channel, I simplify healthy living for moms 35 and older with tips on nutrition, hormones, and fitness. So if this sounds like you, be sure to subscribe. So let's get to, I'm going to hop on my computer and let's get to a little screen share and we're going to start the tutorial. My lock screen right here and this is what my home screen looks like. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what you can do with all of this new update and I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to close out of here and first you're going to want to decide your color palette. So this is going to be, you know, what colors that you want to go with. You can do like a Google search, um, type in like aqua aesthetic wallpaper. You can see I've already done this. Go to Google, try to find a picture that you like. Let's see this one. So that one's kind of a cool one and you could um, double click and then um, save the image to your photos. You could also uh, go to Pinterest and do this. The way that I did it was I went to Canva and made my own. So Canva right here, canva.com is a great free website that I use actually all of my design um, work in. But I was going to show you here on, you can see this is my inspiration for my lock screen and I just went ahead and changed the colors. And then I took that and um, took the pieces of it and changed the colors because if you click on the parts here you can move them around um, and you can see that you can change the colors over here and then the great thing about it too is I'm a big stickler about exact um, brand colors because for my business I use this um, but you can hover over here and you can see the um, number the hex uh, or HTML color code which is great because then you can make sure everything is perfectly matched if you're OCD like me um, also, while I was in Canva, I wanted to show you um, kind of how you can do custom uh, widgets and shortcuts, and I know you don't really know what I'm talking about quite yet, what those are, but I just wanted to show you how I designed them. Um, the, I have, let's see, I have several widgets on my um, home screen and throughout my phone, but here's a custom one I did um, with the quote. I just like to have, again, like... Um, control the color scheme with the the exact pink that was used or blush in my um, you know that will match my lock screen and my home screen and then I also like to use different fonts um, they've got some fine fonts within the app or within the um, widget app I guess widget smith but um, I just I like to use my own so you can just download these and save them as pictures also, um, if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to post some size dimensions that I figured out because they're small, medium, and large widgets. So I kind of messed around. Um, so for instance, I tried to download this and then upload it to a medium widget and it did not fit. So you definitely need um, the right size and I figure those out. So I'm going to put those at the end of the video that you can screenshot. Um, here's another example. This is actually an example of a shortcut that I customized in here. So a great way, again, like you do not have to do anything custom. You can do it all within Shortcuts and Widgetsmith app. Um, but if you're doing something like this, like I have a um, app for my business and for I do fitness and nutrition coaching. So I needed my logo. So this is a great um, opportunity to do that. And again, I could make it my exact colors to match my color aesthetic. So next I'm going to show you, I'm going to uh, put my phone here on the screen and I'm going to show you how to set up the widgets first. Um, and you know, these are really the largest uh, things. Let's go back to my, whoops. Let's go back to my screen here, um, home screen. Um, <clears throat> so 
the widgets, I like to focus on first because they take up the most room. So think about what things that you'd want to organize and have um, widgets help you organize things like, you know, the time, the date, you can do calendars, um, you can inspire yourself with the quotes, or like I like to use my word of the year um, that I'm big on following every day. Um, you can add your own photos, uh, reminders, countdowns, weather, and a ton more. So just kind of think about the things that you would want as your big item widgets. Okay, so let's uh, go to my phone. Okay, let's get into how to add our widgets. And remember, you're wanting to see what your widgets are gonna take up the most um, of your screens. So you wanna really think about ahead um, how you're gonna organize those. So these again are some that I have, but a really cool thing I wanted to show you is you if you swipe right, I call this the widget screen because it's all these cool widgets that are built in um, to your phone or that you can download. I did a search on which uh, apps uh, could be widgets and so that's I thought that was very helpful. One of the things I found are um, like this countdown right here to something. You can pull um, a specific note from your notes app. So this is just my shopping list that's really quick and handy. This is an awesome thing for, of course, I love to for decreasing stress. Um, it's called Unwind, and it's a great uh, breathing app. Um, this is the next one is called Calendars with an with an S, and it connects to your um, it connects to your like your Gmail calendar or whatever calendar you want to choose from. But it's good. It, this is the agenda for that, so I think it's a quick um, snapshot. Of course, I've got the weather. Um, the maps, and then this, it looks like our cute little family right here, but really it's a secret hiding spot for all of my eatery apps. So I'm so excited for this. My um, daughter showed me how to do this, and all I did was you put all of these um, shortcuts, which I'm going to show you how to make, into a folder, and then you just stack the picture on top of that folder when you add them um, too. So and then I've got news and etc. So some cool things that uh, you can do with the widgets. So let's get to see how you make these widgets. So you wanna make sure again that you have this Widget Smith app um, downloaded on your phone and you're going to click it. And you're, as you can see again, like I said, there's the small, medium, and large widgets. Each one, they're pretty similar, but they each kind of have a little bit different things. We're going to practice making a medium one. And so this is the default. Um, I'm going to just keep clicking on that. And then you can see all the different things that you can make with it. So I'm going to show you how to put a custom text into a widget. So we're gonna click on text and then you're just gonna type it in Let's do a little inspirational message here. Let's say you got this, all right? Because you do this, you can do this. I'm trying to go s slow enough for especially us um, midlifers that are trying to figure all this tech stuff out. So anyways, um, you can choose your uh, font in here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go for the marker felt just to be fun. You can pick your font color. Of course, you can see there's different colors you've got. Um, let's go with, uh, let's see, yeah, let's just stick with white. And then for background color, you can choose any of these. And so again, you might wanna go with your aesthetic. Um, let's see here, I'm gonna go with the dark, let's go with aqua. I'm not sure if that's gonna match perfectly. And again, that's why I like to customize everything because I'm a freak about that. But I'm going to rename up here, um, you got, just so it's easy to find. Okay, so I'm going to get out of there. And then to add it, you're going to push down anywhere on your screen, hold down, and then you're gonna get your little wigglies, and then you're gonna go up to this plus, hit the plus, and then scroll down until you find the widget smith. And there it is, the medium widgets. Then you're gonna add widget, 
and push done. Now you're gonna hover over this, push it hard, and then this little screen's gonna pop up, edit widget. And then you're gonna click on the name until you find the one that you did, which is right here, you got. You're gonna click on that. And that's the one we want. Whoops. And hit. And there you go, you got this. So it just adds it to your screen. Isn't that so cool? So anyways, um, so once you've got your widgets going and uh, you figure out how, you know, what kind of space you've got going, then we're going to work on cleaning up some of this chaos right here to make it look a little nicer. So then we're going to go to our Shortcuts app. And the Shortcuts app should already be on your phone, but we're going to go to Shortcuts. And there's two ways you can do it. I'm going to show you the easy way first. And then if you want to stick around for the little bit more advanced and custom way, feel free. Um, so you're going to hit this little plus sign. Oh my goodness. I have lots of clients doing workouts right now. All my little notifications. Good job, girls. <laughs> okay, then you're going to go to action and scripting. And then open app choose and you're going you can type in um, an app that you want to do or you can just go ahead and scroll um, actually let's do I'm gonna do my contacts and then I'm gonna hit these three little dots and so if you're gonna use one of their icons um, you're going to just click the color that you're wanting to choose um, Let's go for, oh, let's keep it on yellow. And on the glyph, um, that's a little symbol. You can scroll through. There's This is pretty teeny tiny, but if you, um, I mean, there's tons over here, but actually I already see it. Let's do this little person, this little, that looks kind of nice and sunny. Um, and I'm going to do done. And then I'm going to type in the name of my app, which is contacts done and then add to home screen and for whatever reason you have to type it again I don't know why but you do um, contacts and then add so we are done with that and then oops before we actually before we go into and you can see it's right here in my shortcuts before I show you how to add that I'm going to show you how to do a custom one now so again we're going to do the same steps we're going to add our plus sign. We're going to go to add action, scripting, open apps, and choose your app. And this time, let's do, 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 do. let's do, um, I know, let's do my settings. That's kind of a boring looking one right now. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to go to my three dots. And then I'm going to name it settings. And then instead of clicking on our little icon right here, we're going to go straight to add to home screen. And then it's going to give you the option right here. As remember how we had to rename it again, we're going to click on that little icon and it's going to give you the option. You can either take a photo, um, choose one that you already have or choose a file. I haven't tried to choose the file yet, so maybe that's where you could add in a logo or something. Maybe. Gosh, I didn't even think about that. But anyways, um, I'm going to choose a photo and I went ahead and just put in like a, a beachy picture right here that might match my aesthetic a little bit. Um, so I'm going to choose and then it's going to pop in right there. Um, and then I'm going to add up here. So that is done and done. And we're going to get out of there. And you can see we've got, oops, I forgot to add that or add, rename it. Dang it. Oh, well, but you'd go back and uh, rename that your um, settings. But so you have both of these and um, then you could move them. And the way that you're going to move them again is just like you would, you're gonna press down on your screen, get the wiggles, and then you can, you know, 
you can move them where, wherever you'd like. So you can shift it around, whoop, and it likes to move around a lot. So wherever you want to move it, um, you know, maybe you start at the beginning here. Come on. Um, <clears throat> and then push done. And then you can start building your screen by moving things around. So that is how you do widgets and shortcuts. And I know it seems like um, it's a little overwhelming at first because it is, but just be patient. And, you know, when you're all done, then you'll have a screen that looks like this and like this. And you'll have so much organization that you'll be so much less stressed. So I'm going to... Uh, put up real quick that size dimensions that I use in Canva for my widgets. But otherwise, I hope that helps and leave a comment below if you have any questions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Hope you're feeling fired up. Bye.